What happens after you die? Let's take a look at death from a non-dual perspective. I'm Russ Rapp, bringing you new ways of seeing non-duality. So let's talk about death. What happens after you die? Well, I really have no idea. So if you're coming to watch this video to have some new story or new belief that you want to create as far as death is concerned, you may want to just turn off the video now. But if you want to maybe think about death and dying in a little bit different way from a non-dual perspective, keep watching. So after you die, what happens? Well, who are you? That's the one question you have to ask yourself. Are you a soul? Are you your higher self embodied into your physical being? Are you, from a merely, you know, scientific perspective, just biochemical energy, electricity um, that's animated in your physical cells and body, and so after you die, that just ends up stopping, and that's the end of your story? <laughs> or do you travel off to some other land or heaven? But what is heaven? What is this other world that, that we're talking about when people refer to that in it can be defined in, in multiple ways, but, you know, really from a, from a perspective of embodiment is, does that mean that you, you have a body in another dimension or is it just your uh, ethereal self or your etheric body traveling? You can get lost in the morass about what, what happens after you die, but when you look at it from a non-dual perspective, the other question you can ask yourself is, why are you asking about what happens after you die? Because for the, the separate self or your ego or whatever you want to call that, really the main focus is what happens after you die. So, so I have this experience, I have five senses or however many senses you want to have. Um, I experience the world, I'm embodied, and so when I cease to be breathing, my heart stops, my cells die, everything dies. I want to know as a separate self what happens because I guess it really comes down to that existential fear of, of non-existing or going into some abyss where you don't exist anymore. So that's the, the fear of the, of the conceptual self is not existing. Um, and so that plays out in different ways, but ultimately it's really kind of a self-centered mindset of wondering or worrying about what happens to you. Whereas every day on this planet, people die, animals die, plants die, um, death is all around us essentially. And so really when it comes to asking those questions, it's really about, you know, me, how do I, what happens after I die? And if you kind of t take a step outside of yourself and really consider, okay, well, what happens after anyone dies or someone else dies, or just in general, what is that experience for you in this, in this moment? Because most of us have either known people that have died and have uh, gone to funerals and seen their body laying there and, and, you, and it doesn't, <laughs> the, the person that you know is no longer there. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear that the, the essence, the, the, the soul, or whatever you want to call it, is, is, is gone. And, right, and in that moment, it's just a bunch of, um, you know, stuff, if you will, physical um, tissues and whatever that's breaking down, or if you get filled with fluids to preserve your, your body. But essentially, the person that you know, the identity that you once loved, is no longer there. And so that has been around, uh, that's been a preoccupation of humans since the beginning of time is, you know, seeing other people around you die, you want to come up with uh, a reason for that, why, why death happens, what happens after people die, because it's a way to try to understand life and try to understand 
the world around you. But, or maybe you've been around people that have died in the moment that you've been with them in the hospital or at home, where all of a sudden, you know, the light goes out and they're just no longer with you and you just have the sense that that person's leaving. What happens after the fact? And, you know, because when it comes to, I wanted to be straight with you at the beginning of the video because, you know, I guess the only way you can really know what happens after you die is if, you know, you, you can somehow see spirits or you're in touch with other dimensions or if you yourself have a near-death experience where you um, have an experience and then you come back to this world, you would know, have some sort of idea or story of what, what that looks like in that moment, but then the rational mind can basically take that and, and run with it and, and create all sorts of stories as far as what that means or what that really is from a scientific perspective. And so um, that can get you down a, a rabbit hole of trying to understand, which is, is totally fine. It's, it's human nature to want to know. But when it comes to being around other people that have died that you've witnessed, what happens in the moment? So at one moment someone's alive and the next moment they pass away. That energy, that animation is gone. But what happens in your experience? So think about that. What you experience is the world as it is, as it always has been since you've been alive. <laughs> so the, the liveness, the essence of, of reality is, is always consistently there and never leaves. And so when the soul or the person dies and it goes away, the essence of the present moment or whatever you want to call it, what is, is, is always still there. And so taking that and applying it to your own self, the obvious conclusion is what happens after you die or what happens after I die? This. <laughs> That's one thing you can be sure about. So, you know, when it comes to, to death and non-duality, Non-duality talks about not two and not, in a sense, not separate, separate, no separation. And so when it comes to talking about death, you were never separate in the first place. And so in a sense, it can be a relieving thought knowing that, that in every moment, whether the person that you love is still with you or not, you're still connected with them. And, and, and that's a beautiful thing. Because there's a lot of fears, especially now uh, in current events, that going around people worrying about uh, death, essentially, is what it comes down to. And so if you realize that you're always in love or experiencing infinite love, uh, whether or not you're... Uh, in fear or you're worried about your you or your loved ones regardless of what's happening you're still um, connected to the source since that's how they call it in the matrix so <laughs> the new one's coming out I'm very excited so I think that's all I had to say about it So I, like I, I say in most of my videos, uh, I appreciate your comments. So if you want to leave a comment down below, um, it's always good to see because that gives me um, food for thought. It helps me think about what other types of videos that I want to make. I just felt like this one was pertinent at this point in time. You know, I had a, just got back from Vegas about a week ago, so... <laughs> yeah, it's, Easy to just uh, not want to make a video because you know, everything's pretty cool, but at this point, 
there's always more to talk about because your mind always plays games. And so there's always more to say in regards to talking about nothing. <laughs> so, uh, until next time. <laughs>